hi welcome back to our channel and back to the tutorial for deep learning today we are going to see the project for that is that is hands on demo how do you develop or achieve and return digit classification using neural network by usage of tensorflow so as of you know tensorflow is one of the familiar open source library which is utilized for both deep learning and machine learning also because your tensor generally consists of multi dimensional data that thing so for hand handwritten digits we are going to follow the data set that is called uh, uh, mns mni st data set because already previous session also explained some exercise based on that one today we are to see how can predict the values and print also for this one first step is we are go to in the cell we have to import the packages like uh, tensorflow then we can write the numpy package after uh, after importing the packages we go to the next line that is next cell we are going to use the uh, train and test values for this we are using x train two component is called uh, x train comma o train and followed by x test comma o test uh, for this is uh, this is the line and we are writing the line here keras dot data set dot mnst dot load underscore data this is the line helpful to downloading the data from directly from the following website that is google app is dot set tensor flow and uh, we can check out the length of the data set with the help of the function called length function that is maybe might be 60000 and testing we can take consider uh, 10000 images here and uh, we can uh, arrange the shape in the size of 28 comma 28 and uh, the input size of the image maybe 28 comma 28 and we can try in with the uh, zero start with zero then uh, we can check out uh, the mat so this is called a matrix set of the sample image that is a sample digit So when I give the line plt dot mesh o of x underscore train of zero, it show the image is not having clarity, clarity anything because we are not trained completely. We are starting the initial stage only. Then what you can do is you can train with the uh, y axis also. Then we can give the uh, values like x underscore train followed by x is equal to x underscore train by twenty two fifty five. Similarly, test also. Then we can check out the array values. So one by one we can explore. So once executed, we can go for next step. That is training and here. So as of now, if you have 80 percent of data, either you can do use 80 percent data for the training and 20 percent for the testing, or 90 percent data for uh, training and 10 percent uh, for the testing like that. So we are going to use the lines like this and uh, plot and the values and then when this is over, it may take few seconds time. On this over, they are going to design a model. How we can design means for design a model, we need a sequential that method. So we're using the Keras dot sequence law. Then we are giving the information like dense input shape, occupations is equal to sigma and so on. And already explained the basics of deep planning, what is sigma and everything. You can check out the tutorial when I go out. And we can write the coding like model dot compile law, automation code Adam, very familiar model. Then we can write uh, last equal to sparse underscore categorical. Underscore class entropy and matrices should be accurate selected. And this model uh, helpful to print the epoch values. Definitely take some time. Once epoch values over, you can evaluate. How you can evaluate? You can call the function called the model dot evaluate of x underscore test underscore plot and the comma y test. So it gives the information like uh, what are the last value and accuracy showing like point uh, eight sorry point nine two seven six like that. And you can predict the model with the help of the Method called y underscore predicted is equal to followed by model dot predict of x underscore test underscore plot and then y underscore predict of zero. Then we can show plot dot match show and x x underscore of test of zero. This is helpful to show the average image value that is maybe a seven like that predicting saying and it will say print the value of seven like that and we are following the predict label and we are using the tensor and move on to the next one called C one. We later we discuss C one also important C one and going to show the label that is predicted and uh, prove value with the help of confusion matrix diagram and we again we are testing the model and it testing the epochi and uh, again predict the value and here uh, to help put to compare with the uh, input image that is the original image actual image and uh, predict the value after it will display the confusion matrix like this and again we are saying like this sorry. I may repeat. So at last, we are evaluating. Just now I told you the accuracy value is showing like that. Uh, zero. 
uh, once you evaluate it properly, we can with the help of model dot evaluate function, you can get the output. That is the uh, accuracy is plus showing 0.9761. So I hope you understand how we can achieve handwrite uh, achieve the digits classification using neural with neural network with the help of TensorFlow. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.